Each side of a square is increased three inches. When this happens, the area is multiplied by nine. How many inches is the side of the original square? Let's go ahead and model this information. Let's set the original square here on the left be an x by x square, and then if each side is increased by three, the enlarged square is an x plus three by x plus three square. And again, when this happens, the area of the larger square is nine times the area of the smaller square. The area of the original square is x times x or x squared. The area of the enlarged square is x plus three times x plus three or the square of x plus three. Right now, the square of x plus three is nine times as large as x squared. And therefore, to form an equation, we can set nine times x squared equal to the area of the large square, which is the square of x plus three, or two factors of x plus three. And now we need to solve for x. For the first step, we'll multiply out the right side. Multiplying x plus three times x plus three, we have x squared plus three x plus three x plus nine, Combining like terms, we have nine x squared equals x squared plus six x plus nine. Because we have a quadratic equation, let's set the left side equal to zero by subtracting nine x squared on both sides. This gives us a zero equals negative eight x squared plus six x plus nine. We're gonna go ahead and try to factor the right side. It's normally easier to factor when the leading coefficient is positive. Let's factor out a negative from the right side. This gives us zero equals negative or the opposite of eight x squared minus six x minus nine. And now let's try to factor the trinomial inside the parentheses. Let's use the factors of four x and two x for the factors of eight x squared. So we have a four x in the first position of the first binomial factor and a two x in the first position of the second binomial factor. This is one of the more challenging trinomials to factor because the leading coefficient is eight, not one. Now we need to place the factors of c, or negative nine, into the binomials so that the sum of the inner and outer products is equal to the middle term of negative six x. Let's use the positive three and negative three. Because we want the sum to be negative six x, let's put the minus three with the two x and the plus three with the four x. And now check the sum of the inner and outer products. The inner product is six x, the outer product is negative 12x, and 6x plus negative 12x is negative 6x, which is the middle term of the trinomial inside the parentheses, which indicates we have factored this correctly. And now we continue. The product on the right is equal to zero when 4x plus three is equal to zero, or 2x minus three is equal to zero. And now we solve these two equations for x. To solve 4x plus three equals zero for x, we subtract three and divide both sides by four, which gives us x equals negative three-fourths, and to solve two x minus three equals zero, we add three to both sides and divide by two, giving us x equals three-halves. Now remember here, x is a length, so we can go ahead and discard x equals negative three-fourths. That's not a possible solution. And again, the question is, how many inches is the side of the original square? Each side of the original square is three-halves inches, or 1.5 inches. I hope you found this helpful.